Hey, this is Brittany Griner from the Phoenix Mercury, and you listen to the Three Point Conversion. Have a great time, baby. <laughs> All right, start with my first questions first. So can you talk a little bit more about what is, what is the decision to move on from THL? Uh, no, I know, I really, it's just uh, best for both parties, and um, we're ready to move forward and uh, get out there and battle tonight. Okay. Have, you, have you done any looking around to see if you're going to add anybody to the roster? Yeah, our GM, Jim Pittman, is busy always trying to upgrade our roster and, and find new players. So, um, yeah, it's not ideal to go into a game with eight players. Um, so uh, we'll definitely hopefully get some players in here quickly. The importance of rotation. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have no rotation. Yeah. Which I thought was a great line, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so now there's maybe more players. Well, uh, we did have a couple games um, that uh, Tina didn't elected not to play in earlier in the season. Right. And so we had an opportunity to work a similar lineup to what we have today. Actually, um, I think we have an initial player available, um, which Shay wasn't available as well. So, um, yeah, so I think we'll work on that. We, it's Rotation has been a challenge as we've had different lineups for most of our 16 games um, this year. And, you know, the good news is I don't know any different because I'm a rookie. So just doing my best out here to sort of sort it out tonight. Um, be smart about how um, we get people in and out and maximize our, our vets. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously going to be a challenge. Um, I think for us, it's they got to guard us too. Um, so hopefully, you know, we're adding Sophie Cunningham into the lineup um, to spread the floor a little bit on that end and then just be quick um, and use our, our speed and our versatility um, to sort of try to placate some of the issues we had inside in the last game. Um, rebounding has been an issue even when we had to. So um, we're going to have to make sure that we're all committed to, to that. Um, if any balls bounce my way, I'm going to get them too. So <laughs> I don't know if coaches can collect rebounds, but uh, I'd like to. I'd like to be a part of it if possible. That's a great question. Uh, this has been um, some. I learn something new every day, and uh, it's. It, it can seem like a tremendous obstacle, but I'm choosing to see it as an opportunity. Um, these things that have come in the way every day, I'm focused on trying to learn a lesson from whatever happened the day before. And uh, like I said, I don't really know a different way to coach in the WNBA than this. And so this one day, maybe it'll all be smooth. And so that I'll be able to look back on this fondly um, as an experience to help uh, build me and mold me. But um, we learn from failure. We don't always learn from success. Sometimes we ignore it. And so this has been a lot of opportunity for me to learn. And um, hopefully, uh, that will continue to build me as a coach and help our team be successful. What's your last one from today? Uh, well, we don't know yet. Um, you know, that's the exciting thing. The wind changes quickly in the gym, and uh, we never really know. So uh, you can ask me after the game. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, Shay is just a, a real savvy vet. Um, she studies us a lot, and, um, you know, she's – She's a playmaker. She's a great defensive player. And um, she has experience playing with uh, D and, and Sky. And so they kind of know how to play with each other. Um, and then adding Sophie into that mix and Breezy, you know, this is a group that, you know, I'm the new person in that group. So um, I think that creates a, a little bit of chemistry automatically for us. Um, Shay, I think at her heart is a scorer, but she also has the ability to be a playmaker for us as well. Awesome. Thank you. We'll take it to Zoom. Andy, go for it. What's up, Zoom? Hey, Vanessa. Hi. So since you have short bench, talk a little bit about the bench as far as like Sam and, and the Megan, but they're going And I'm assuming Diamond's still coming off the bench. Uh, yeah, we're going to stay with our same uh, starting lineup um, for the game tonight. And um, we will be using Megan and Shay for sure. Um, and they're going to, we're going to need them. Uh, we have eight players and we were having this, uh, wonderful schedule of a game every other day for like 
I don't know, the whole month of June or what are we? Is this June? Okay. Um, and uh, <laughs> what day of the week? I don't know. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're looking uh, to get, you know, everybody in and out, um, especially early and um, try to try to see some different combinations and some different lineups and, and some, some new ways, you know, you had to lean in when there's challenges, you lean into your creativity and hopefully we'll be able to do that today. So with Megan inside and, and uh, Breezy, um, obviously they've got a size advantage with uh, McGowan in there. How do you want to defend her? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think she got us a little bit on O boards last game. So we pay attention to making sure we get uh, into that early and pay attention to that and, and just um, being um, like a wedging and, and, and not allowing her to get deep position is really important. Um, when she gets deep position, she's extremely difficult to defend. And basically everybody got the green light when they come in? Uh, you know, this is a league of stars. Uh, you know, you got to know who's supposed to take the shots, but uh, you got to open shot, you got to take it, but you got to know if you're standing next to T Diana Taurasi, you might want to pass it. <laughs> I mean, like, let's just be real. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Vanessa. You're welcome. Thanks, Annie. Hayden, go for it. Hey, Coach. Uh, given given the news that Tina um, and and the team had a contract divorce this morning uh, and with her offensive skill set that she brings. Is there anything that the team, you know, might miss just with her not being on the team? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think um, I, I think she was a little bit below her career career average. She had about seven rebounds. Um, we we're going to need those rebounds. Um, obviously, we were able to go into her to get some key buckets during the game. But like I said, we had a couple games. We, we had one of our best games against Connecticut this year when um, and they had a lot of size and we didn't have her. Um, so we find some, try to find some different ways for us to score, um, try to use a little bit, lean into some of the strengths of our other players and, um, you know, we're, we're ready to move ahead. Uh, it's a divorce. So we're moving ahead. <laughs> and then just one I mean, more question. <laughs> that's what you do when you get divorced, right? And then just one more question, coach. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't live in <laughs> We're moving ahead. I mean, yeah, I know there's a million. I'm not, I, I'm not laughing. I'm not. It's very serious. Oh. <laughs> I heard that conversation about divorce. I, I wasn't sure if I should keep on talking or not. Um, but uh, I know in the, in that game against Connecticut, you guys ran small, had breezy at the center um, yeah. at the five spot. Is that something, you know, that you guys will be able to play in, you know, during, throughout the rest of the season, just going with the small ball lineup? The gods of basketball have given us no choice. Um, you know, with the BG situation, everything that's happened here, we are. And so uh, we're going to lean hard into that. And, um, you know, there was uh, the bubble season in which BG um, left the bubble at one point, and they went with a similar situation like this. Being, um, Breezy played the center. And they they played that four garden. And I believe they made it pretty far in the playoffs. So uh, there there's a core group of players who have experience with this, and um, you know that's how it is. The Warriors seem to do okay this way. Awesome, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Hayden. Ellie, I'll go for it. Hey, Coach. So we just got we talk about BG every day, and we will continue okay. to do so. Uh, when you see something like the news from Greg Stanton about trying to move forward, trying to do something, what does that mean to y'all? Yes, I, I apologize. There's obviously a lot going on here in the, the world of the mercury as the mercury is rising. Um, we, what is it, 127, right? 128. Today is 128 days since Brittany Griner has been in, uh, wrongfully imprisoned in Russia. And we have to keep that as the front story for any story about the mercury, even though we've had other news today. And uh, we are happy to see that people are making moves. We saw the petition signed by all of the um, women's leagues and um, the Women's Sports Foundation urging the president to take action, but we need President Biden to take action. All right, please take action. Can somebody do something for the mercury? I mean, please, right? Help us. Uh, BG um, needs to come home. And the only way that she comes home is if President Biden decides she needs to come home and trade somebody. And look, yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Samir, go for it. Hey coach, uh, I hope you had a safe life uh, to uh, Dallas. Thank you. And uh, I just wanted to ask, I mean, I was gonna ask about uh, the uh, Tina Charles story that's already been talked about in Brittany Griner. So I will ask about uh, uh, Enrique again. So yeah. you're gonna face him for, face her for the third yeah. third time. How are you gonna expect to defend her with a sh uh, shorter bench and uh, 
yeah, with a shorter yeah. bench and everything. Enrique has been playing great, and she's especially been playing great against us. Um, so we really have uh, to prepare for that. Um, I thought we did a much better job on her in the second half um, of our game. What was it like a couple days ago? Um, but uh, our last game, we did a much better hat job in the second half. And so um, hopefully we'll, we'll continue to build on that, make it difficult for her, make her a bigger point of attention. Um, yeah, she's a tremendous scorer. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that every shot that she takes is difficult and um, that we we're, we're paying really close attention to what she's doing. They have a lot of other great players as well. Um, so this will be a great challenge for us tonight. Okay, thanks coach. You're welcome. Thank you, Raphael, go for it. Hey coach, hope all is well. This is Raphael Haynes with the three point conversion. Coach, of course we spoke about the BG um, news today. And then of course with Tina Charles, you talked about being a rookie coach and with a situation like this today, this is a unique situation. How do you prepare the team? Do you lean more on your veterans like Diana as far as after a day, you know, and with all of these, with all of the news that came out today, how do you lean? I mean, how do you deal with this? Yeah, you know, uh, we're so fortunate. I'm super fortunate as a, as a rookie coach to have uh, Diana on our team. And, you know, she's seen a lot of things, but also she's a tremendous leader. And so she's stepped up in this experience, um, in this situation to, to lead our team. And, um, you know, there's always different circumstances. Their teams come out and they have like eight people or whatever. You never know coming into a game. And so you got to play with who you got. And today uh, we know who we got and we're going to go out there and do it. And we do want to lean into our veteran um, experience and hopefully um, use that to our advantage because we do have that going for us um, with those guards. So uh, hopefully we'll get that, that happening tonight. And quickly, can you talk about the uh, mood of the team with the news about BG? Extremely, um, you know, they're always, they keep BG at the front of their mind. Um, they keep that as their motivation. And uh, that is a big focus for us. And I would say today with all the other stuff as well, they are extremely focused. Thank you. Uh, Alexa, did you have one last question? Sure. Hi, Vanessa. Um, with, you know, your team has been used to lots of disruption this season, but with something like this that happens today with Tina's departure, how did you, I guess, either challenge your team to um, come together with her absence um, or her departure? And um, what are you looking for your team to do um, to, I guess, more from like a mental or emotional standpoint, given all of that disruption to move forward? Yeah, we have no choice to move forward, but you know, it just makes you like we we have to come together. It's a it's uh a we few, we happy few, we band of sisters. Like we are here for the battle. You don't want to die with us, we don't want to die next to you. So like we got to come in here and ready to battle. And so we are uh uh focused on that. We are ready to go. The players like I said they are very focused and they are not happy um, with how we've been playing. And so they're ready. This, this is an extremely competitive group. So, you know, when it gets to be like this, all they want to do is win. And so you know, I, we had one of our, our most focused shoot arounds we've had all year. And I know that they're going to be um, excited to um, play tonight. And I look forward to great officiating. I can't get fined for that, right? Oh, 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 a hand went up. There's a little hand right there. Oh, Cheryl. Go Jeez. For it. Hi, coach. Um, I just wanted to ask about um, Diamond, you know, since she's um, scored a, a little less in the past couple of games, had a little less minutes. What are you expecting from her and what do you need from her right now, especially with everything that's going on? Yeah, you know, Diamond's been great for us this year. Um, but, you know, obviously she's going to play a lot of minutes tonight. There's, there's only eight of them. Um, and so we're looking to hopefully get her. Um, last time we played Dallas, she was very active and got out in transition quite a bit. Uh, I think that's really one of her strengths and just getting to the rim and drawing fouls. So um, we're looking for her, you know, we need everybody to pick up a little bit. We need a little bit more scoring from everybody, a little bit more rebounding, a little bit more uh, intensity um, on the backside of our defense. So uh, everybody's going to step it up. And I, I'm excited to see what Diamond does tonight because I know that she she is very focused. Thank you.
You're welcome. Thanks, Cheryl. Looks like that's it for today. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, Vanessa. All right, y'all. I ain't Thank got no. I ain't got no jokes or nothing.